Command Sergeant Major Cindy Pritchett entered the Women's Army Corps on July 2, 1973. She retired from the U.S. Army on May 20, 2010, serving as a soldier for 36 years, 7 months, and 29 days. Noteworthy, she served as a non-commissioned officer for 35 years and as a command sergeant major for 19. At her retirement ceremony at Fort Myer, Virginia, Sergeant Major of the Army Ken Preston highlighted that her service was significant for her many contributions to the Army as a leader and as a teacher. Her contributions made a difference to the Army as an institution. We should recognize that she served during a period of transition for the U.S. Army. The Women's Army Corps was, by act of Congress, disestablished on 29 October 1978. Command Sergeant Major Pritchett's sterling service confirmed the wisdom of recognizing the potential of our female soldiers. She was the first female in many organizations. She was the first female non-commissioned officer in the 37th Transportation Group, Kaiserslautern, Germany, Kleber Kasern in 1978. The first female soldier and only female Sergeant First Class when assigned to the Material Support Command in Korea in 1983. The first female First Sergeant when assigned to the 1st Infantry Division Forward in 1988. The first female Command Sergeant Major in the 101st Airborne Division Footprint when assigned to the 561st Corps Support Battalion in 1990 and deployed with the unit to Somalia in 1992. The first female Command Sergeant Major assigned to a three-star level command when nominated and selected to serve as the Command Sergeant Major at the Combined Arms Center, Fort Leavenworth, in 1997. The first and only female senior enlisted advisor to a sub-theater commander in a time of war when nominated and assigned as Command Sergeant Major to Combined Armed Forces Afghanistan in 2004 at the request of Lieutenant General Dave Barno. In her oral history, preserved at the Army Sergeant Majors Academy, she stated that as she gained rank, she went from living in a fishbowl to an eight ounce glass to a shot glass, for she wanted to ensure that she did not paint all women with the same brush if I screwed up. She did succeed. Why? She succeeded because she was a trainer. Two years after she entered the Army, she was assigned as a drill sergeant at Fort McClellan. In her own words, she loved being a drill sergeant. I just like training. That attitude she carried throughout her career. Examples of that are many and include her service as the battalion commander for the students and faculty at the Sergeant Majors Academy. She restructured and refocused the battle staff program so that the course served all the military services. Most importantly, she promoted the success of the students, stating, commanders are sending us their folks to learn, not to fail. As the Command Sergeant Major of the Combined Arms Center, Lieutenant General Monty Meggs selected her because she was a soldier who, quote, understands the Army, training, and leader development. During her five years of service at CAC, she oversaw NCO and soldier leader development programs. Her service in Afghanistan, where as the Command Sergeant Major for Combined Armed Forces Afghanistan, she worked with our allied partners responsible for the training of the Afghan Army, advising her trainers to recognize both the cultural values and educational background of the Afghan soldiers. She succeeded because she was a leader who set standards. While serving as a young NCO with the 37th Transportation Group in Kaiserslautern, Germany, in the late 1970s, she was selected for membership into the prestigious Sergeant Morales Club, a fraternal organization that recognized and rewards distinguished non-commissioned officers. While serving at Fort Campbell, the Corps Sergeant Major selected Sergeant First Class Pritchett to develop a leadership course to enhance the preparedness of soldiers selected for basic leadership training. She succeeded because she was candid. She challenged those who sought to deny her opportunities because of her gender when they appeared to ignore her rank and experience. Her belief in her competence and leadership was key to her first assignment as a platoon sergeant and first sergeant while serving in Europe. She challenged peers and her leaders to create an environment where all soldiers believed they were accepted and of value. 
and she challenged senior leaders to appreciate the recommendation of the senior non-commissioned officers when evaluating the effectiveness of the Army non-commissioner officer training program. Her willingness to be frank and open was recognized by her nominations to serve at various times during her service as an enlisted advisor of the Army Women's Advisory Committee on Women in the Service, as a member of Secretary Togo West's Extremism Committee, and on the Senior Review Panel for Sexual Harassment Task Force. Lastly, she was viewed as a muddy boot soldier. If you look at her 36 years of service, it is evidence that she was always out front leading and taking care of soldiers. She may have been the first female in many units or jobs, but in her own words, she was a soldier who happened to be female. Nevertheless, she was a trailblazer for other female soldiers. For all that she has accomplished through her exceptional career, the Army Heritage Center Foundation has selected Command Sergeant Major Cindy Pritchett as our 2022 Living Legend Awardee. Highlighted here is a chronological history of her service.